When it comes to artist books today, artists are pushing the boundaries of what we might think of as a book. They can take the form of Anne-Marie Hunter's book Nailed, a book which can't possibly be read or opened, or this lovely work his master said, which comes in the form of a cigarette packet and inside 10 chapters. Or Nicholas Jones' book Medallion, which began life as a conventional book, or like Gracia Habe's wonderful concertina book that unfolds and tells its stories in a series of images. It's worth keeping in mind that artists have always been involved in the production of books since the earliest times. And if we look at something like this medieval manuscript from the 1400s, we can see with their beautiful painted pages, their wonderful hand-done scripts, that artists have had such a role in the look and production of books throughout history. But by the 19th century, Frankly, books had sort of become dull. The text and typography, the layout, I mean, there wasn't a lot of attention to that sort of detail. It was people like William Morris who came out of the arts and craft movement in England in the second half of the 19th century. These fine bindings, beautiful paper, the beautiful typefaces he created really brought back to our attention what is absolutely beautiful about books, which is that three-dimensionality in their tactile and sensory qualities. We tend to talk about artist books as very much a 20th century phenomenon. And this is a lovely example of a work by Picasso, and that was very much typical of the kind of deluxe books that were being made in Europe in the first half of the 20th century. Surrealism, constructivism, data, all produced lots and lots of, of little books. And this is a terrific example here by the Russian constructivist Elizitsky. And we can see the kind of beautiful elements of design involved. In the 1950s, there tended to be a new generation of artists. American artists, Ed Ruscha, for instance, or the Swiss-German artist Dieter Rott. This wonderful work, 1,234 Most Speedy Drawings. This is a new style of artist books, and they were using things like cheap offset printing and photocopier, selling them for a few dollars, and getting that conceptual art practice out there amongst the public. When it comes to contemporary artist books today, artists are refocusing our interest in the book as a physical object. And I like to think they're both responding to a 1,000 year old history of the book and also taking the book into its future.